Hi, welcome back to Know Better. Today we are going to discuss rational and irrational numbers. First of all, all these counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and goes till infinity. And the negative numbers of it like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and it goes till infinity again. Including the number 0. They together are called integers. And if integers are written in the form of a fraction or something like 2 by minus 5 or minus 6 by 7, these are called rational numbers. Now there is a catch. Rational number can be written in the form of P by Q. Now these P and Q are nothing but integers. But we have to make sure that Q should not be equal to 0. If we just satisfy this condition that Q should not be equal to 0 and we can put any number instead, any integers instead, then we find a rational number. Let's find out how it is easy to understand a rational number in some other way. So if we use the decimal form of any number, so to find decimal form, there are two ways to do it. So suppose I take one example, 10 by 3. And if we convert it into decimal form, we find the answer something like this, 3.333 and goes till infinity. Or we can say 3.3 .3 and we put a small bar over 3, which means it 3 repeats after decimal every time. Now, this is called non-terminating but repeating. That is uh, the number after the decimal like 3 we have here. It is, I, it is not terminating. So there is no end to it, but it is repeating. So number can also be 2.656565. So something is repeated, but it is not terminating. It is keep on going. So one of the form of uh, the rational number is this. Either you can find a rational number whose decimal form is non-terminating but repeating. And another example would be 10 by... 4 and the answer is 2.5 which means it just terminated after decimal there is nothing else is there to be written so 2.5 is a number or any number like this is called like 2.75 or 7.92 so and after that we don't need any number to be written so this is called terminating decimal or terminating. So a rational number can be written in a way which turns out to be either non-terminating but repeating or just terminating. Only two ways are possible. And if you find any decimal number written in these two forms, we call it a rational number. And then we have numbers like root 2 or pi. When we convert this into decimal form, we get something like 1.414235. And it keeps on going. 3.1415926 and it keeps on going. The interesting part here is that whatever numbers comes after this 5 here or 6 here, it will be every time a new number. There is no repetition. There is no cycle. We have seen the example of uh, a rational number where 10 by 3 can be written as 3.333. So there is a repetition of 3. But here, there will be no group of cycles. So nothing can be written as, suppose it is 2.726. And again, 726. Or again, 726. So this is again a rational number. But... In, in numbers like pi and root 2, we will never find a cycle. 
so these number are non terminating it never ends and non repeating it never repeats as well and if you find any number like that then we call these numbers as irrational numbers so number can be like 1.10 one zero zero one zero 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 it is also not repeating there is a pattern but these these patterns are not a repeat repeated pattern repeated pattern would be one zero one zero one zero can be accepted but here what we see it is totally every time there will be some something new so a, an irrational number when written in the decimal form will have no repetition there is no cycle made or there it is not terminating as well so only this property if we find this property in any number or any decimal form we call these numbers as irrational numbers and when we combine all these two kind of numbers rational and irrational we call them as the real numbers so real number family is a bigger family which includes both rational numbers and irrational numbers and examples are given here i hope you understood the difference between rational and irrational and you understood what these numbers are so i'll come up with uh, some more interesting topics thank you for watching